Hello. A long time ago, I bought a bunch of pell chain modules for a buck a piece. They were on sale. I bought like 10 of them for 12 bucks or something. Now I see the same ones are uh, about $2.98 each. They're the cheapest and most low power one. I think they're 42 watts when you input 12 volts. But my goal was to see if I could make a camp battery charger out of them and initially I hooked one up to a cold glass window and uh, I'm thinking that you know it would take the outdoor cold on the one side and the indoor temperature and I got about oh, <laughs> it was bad it was like point, I don't know, point one volts or something. It was really bad. So, if I were to do it all again, I would start, before I bought the modules, I would start collecting heat sinks because those old Pentium heat sinks work out pretty nice. And if you can find some that, see how the Pelchi module sits a little bit above the heat sink so that all the heat kind of goes up and then it has one more final jump up to the Pelche module. These were out of a Pentium 4 computer and they, they worked out really nice because the highest point on that heat sink is the Pelche module. And then I got two of another style that are flat. So they work better when you're not, you're distributing, distributing your heat collection at a height in the end that finalizes at the Pelche module. And I actually have four in series and it's not too, too difficult to get, say, 0.6 volts and 100 milliamps out of one. But I wanted, and that's, that's open circuit too. And one thing, when you lock down a circuit with these things, they just, they just dump into the basement. Um, so what I did was I put four in series and that bumped my voltage up to a possible, you know, around a, around a, maybe a, a volt loaded. And, uh, but the milliamps are, are pretty good, but I couldn't get it to just brute force charge a battery, especially if the battery was up already. And, uh. When I started here a little while ago, this battery was sitting at about one point, I don't know, two, two, I think it was. And I did finally get it to charge. But what I had to do is I had to hook up a little Jewel Thief with an MPS A06. And even still, that didn't really work. Like, I mean, it got the LED going when I was testing it, no problem. Uh, but it didn't start charging a battery until I put a capacitor on the output of it and uh, in order to collect as much energy and not, not just uh, create a light load on the Pelche modules themselves I also put quite a large capacitor on the front rail so the one to the left is like I don't know 3300 microfarad and uh, the one on the output is is a higher voltage when I just had it on the output by itself I could get that thing to go up to 40 40 volts or something so if you had a, a dumping circuit you could charge literally any size battery like you could even charge a 12 volt battery you know, it was slower than the second coming of Christ I mean it is anyways with a double A but uh, it does charge and slowly but surely you know and um, so it does work so I'm gonna I'm gonna figure something out a little bit you know better than this but you know I'm sure this is what the what the hobos do when they find 12 volt wine coolers in the dump you know they collect them up and and then you got your whiskey barrel sitting beside this rig and uh, when you run out of candles you got some charged batteries for your LED lights and all I have up on top is just a just a, a uh, pot of water. Uh, I didn't put any ice or anything in it. 
Um, I forget what the what the max on these things is. I think it's 60. Um, I didn't really want to start playing around with these these until I got one of these little temperature meters, and then they finally went on for like 70% off. So, so I got one. See, it's pretty hot right there, 50 degrees C. But when I shoot the actual module, it's lower. And I think 60 is about the max that you can run these at, if I'm not mistaken. I could I could be wrong, but I don't think I've wrecked any yet. I've been trying to keep it at, you know, like below 50, the actual module. Because right below it is, is substantially hotter. This side seems to be hotter too. And I could have a, you can see how I have those two candles sort of staggered. So it's, given that I have four modules, it, it's not ideal. Like I have probably more, quite a bit more voltage coming out of one than the other. I probably should have tested each one to see if, uh, you know, if they, uh, if they're outputting the same. Otherwise they're just bringing each other down. But it does charge albeit very slowly but in the time that I got this set up it's come up to from 1.22 to almost 1.24 so there you go there you have it your candle double a battery charger I think my total cost on that well if I bought it today I think my total cost would be twelve dollars for the bell chase and you know, just, just scrounge up the heat sinks. This whole setup's not worth buying heat sinks for. Scrounge them up and then, uh, and then, you know, just your basic. That's a little toroid out of the CFL, MPS A06. And I forget how much resistance I have on the base. There's probably a better way of doing it. I, uh, initially, I tried to do it with a little, uh, with a little circuit out of a, um, out of a, you know, like a garden light or whatever. And that's actually probably might be a better way to go, but you might have to change that in doctor and, and look up the data sheet on your little, your little unit. Cause this is, I don't know, this is, they say these are about 66% efficient at stepping up the voltage. This is a true, um, boost converter. Um, but they're not overly hugely efficient. It's not like they're up into the nineties or something. They're only on the on the site. It said uh, it said it was only about uh, sixty six percent efficient. So that'd be another way to go. I couldn't get it to work though because uh, I hadn't started playing around with capacitors at that point. I just had it hooked up, and and then I realized that there was I don't know what it is whether it's impedance matches or what, but it does take a few capacitors to to play around with it and get it going. Thanks for watching.